Don't know how many nunks you need. There's probably some in Dust Town. But let's focus on the proving, shall we? Check out the competition, see what's what. We've got a decent amount done. More things to set the tone of how things are going to go down. So, improving. There are two people that we need to talk to. We need to talk to Gwydon and Beisel. And we'll talk to uh, anyone else. The highlight of underground existence, I take it. Um, and we'll talk to anyone else who has a name. Let's talk to the main guys first, though. Look, I already told the Proving Master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? I've never seen you before in my life. Nor I you, but it's pretty obvious who you're working for. Who do you think I'm working for? So I take it you weren't sent here to find out if I withdrew from the Proving. In that case, never mind. Julian Ferenda wants me to find out why you're not fighting. I know it hurt my cousin, Anna. I don't mean anything personal. Just tell Doolin, tell him I sprained my wrist. I'm going to sit this out. It sounds like someone threatened you. It's not that simple. I'm a good man. I try to live by the Paragon's examples, but... It's not always easy. I've done things I'm not proud of. This will just be another addition to the list. Things you're not proud of? Is somebody blackmailing you? Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Idukin girl, Revelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But we didn't exactly stop seeing each other. So you're afraid that your affair will be exposed? She's married to a prominent Desher's heir. We should have stopped a long time ago, but... I love her. Do you know what that's like? Now Balin found out, and I can't even help my cousin for fear he'll tell her husband. Was it Balin who threatened you himself? N no One of his fighters, a woman named Miyaja, she's the one who threatened to expose me. What evidence does she have? They have letters. Love letters Ravelka wrote me. If they were made public, she'd be disgraced. Her husband would cast her aside, and I would be lucky to be allowed to die in a duel. Would you fight again if the secret was safe? There's no way to guarantee that. I appreciate the thought, but they really have me over a shaft here. I could get those letters back. You'd do that? I don't know how to thank you. I, I know it's my own fault, but I'd have married her if I could. If you can make sure that evidence doesn't get out, I'd be happy to fight in the proving. But you need to find them quickly. Registrations close once the first bout starts. Okay. Cool. So, that's the master, that's where we get the letters from, so we'll go down there first. Oh, Varric. Hey, dude. Watch for Pio Naidukin. He's won the squad combat four years running. He has 11 decapitations so far. He needs just three more for the one season record. Obviously, this isn't the Varric from Dragon Age 2. Must be a common dwarven name. I guess you've watched the Provings a lot then. Front row seats at every grand proving since my father took me on his shoulders. Name's Varric. I got a controlling interest in a mine off the old Roost and Tig. But my backers know not to hand me a pick any day there's blood on the stone, if you know what I mean. Have you ever fought in one? Me? Are you out of your mind? I'm a miner, not a warrior. What are the rules? They change from round to round. Sometimes it's bare hands, sometimes weapons, sometimes pairs or squads. It's announced when the fight begins. That's about all the warning anyone gets. So the proving is just a tournament? Sure. Like King Endrin was just a noble. A proving is a sacred art. Any dispute brought to the proving round is settled by the ancestor's decision. And no one can protest it. Note how it's not a scared art. If you excuse me. 
I'm telling you, Piotin will take the prize. You can put gold on it. Sure. Right, so... Um... Yeah. What is that noise? Gotcha. This area is off limits. Combatants only. I hear you've been threatening Hermont's fighters. Is that an accusation? It's illegal to threaten proving fighters outside the ring. Not helping them keep their dirty secrets, though. That's another story. I'd like to see those letters. I bet you would. Just tell Beisel Hermont to fight. Then you'll see them. On the front page of a broadsheet. Come on, Luke John. We have a fight to prepare for. Hmm. Okay. Not willing to talk. If you have a fight to prepare for, I'll just break into your room. I am done. Finished. Take the letters myself. Go away. I don't talk to admirers until after the fight. Credit entry. Anyone else to talk to around here? I could talk to Mirage again, but I'm not going to. Noxious noise that is though. Jesus. And it cuts off weirdly as well. Vital. Right, the proving's almost starting. I should leave if you haven't found anything. I have your letters right here. Where did you get those? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to know. Just thank you. I can't say what it means to know my Revelka is safe. Then you'll fight in the Proving? I will be glad to fight for Harrimont in the Provings. Thank you again, friend. So we've got one of the fighters on our side now, which is good. It doesn't make a lot of difference. Um, it basically means that I'll just fight with you in the Proving, but I want to do it for story reasons. Let's go down here. Find Wooden. Don't know whatever his name is. He's over there. We'll work around to him. Do not disturb me. I must meditate before my fight. Okay. Greetings. I'm Lina of the Grey Wardens. Don't take it personally. Hanashan's a member of the Silent Sisters. She doesn't talk to anyone. What are the Silent Sisters? They're an order of female warriors, founded by Astith the Grey, a woman of the warrior caste who first fought for women's right to be soldiers. When no one listened to her words, Astith cut out her tongue and dedicated herself to training until she won a grand proving barehanded. The women who joined her order cut out their tongues in her honor. And who are you? I am Ferindin. I serve as Hanashan's trainer and translator. As a silent sister, Hanashan cut out her tongue like the ancient paragon, Astith the Grey. As you might imagine, she requires my services for more mundane tasks. Whose side are you two on? The silent sisters support the sitting king. They are loyal servants to the Idukans. Hmm. You should reconsider who you call king. Your bravado is meaningless. When a silent sister fights, she doesn't do it with words. If you would back up your claims, enter the Proving. The ancestors will show who they think is worthy. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. So, that's that one done. You looking at something? 
Get out of here. Okay. We'll talk to that guy last. I'm missing someone. Hmm. Yeah, I've missed someone. I think they might be in the other room. We'll talk to Kudem first. You new in the fights? I don't remember seeing you before. Are you one of the fighters? Was. Name's Guidon, and I just tendered my resignation. Somehow I don't think the ancestors will favor me today. Why did you resign? It's not so much what happened, as what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Harriman's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. That's ridiculous. Harmon isn't conceding. Oh? And where did you hear this that's more reliable than a member of the Assembly? Doolin, and I'm rallying honourable fighters for Harmon. I, uh, I suppose there's nothing his lordship would do without consulting Doolin. He's always been his top man. Maybe you're right. I, I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... Get back in the proving and knock some heads? Maybe I will at that. Okay, cool. And that's... Uh approving so yeah I'm missing one guy we'll talk to the armsman first so this guy is something optional to do for a little bit of extra money but the fight that you get given when you talk to this guy is horrible you have to fight like four lieutenant level enemies we'll give it a go after we've done the proving fine to see you here warden a number of people have told me they hope to see you in the provings it's a rare opportunity to fight against someone so exotically trained. In fact, a few were hoping you'd take part in some informal action. Informal? You mean illegal? Assembly restricted, not illegal. All that ritual lets nobles rationalize it's not a blood sport. They don't like commoners using the arena for petty squabbles. Some of us prefer an honest spectacle. And sometimes someone needs a good beating. And all that talking gets in the way. I'm game. What do you have in mind? Say the word and I'll line up a team from one of the younger houses. They don't often get a chance to test themselves in the provings. They're a hungry bunch who employ unusual tactics. Understand that there's no concern for fairness here. Your battles will be hard won. Who am I facing and what do I get for it? The younger houses are interested in unorthodox tactics. Many hire mercenaries to augment traditional strengths. Anything goes is a fair description. We give small payouts, maybe a bonus from time to time. But this isn't about money. It's about skill and the chance to show it. I'll come back for some action later. I'll be here. Cool. So yeah, we can do that. It's not mandatory. But it's something to do. Right, let's go and find this one guy that I'm missing. So. This is the door I've missed. Guards, remove this intruder. Nothing to say. Okay, cool. So we've done all of that. So I guess our next objective is to join the proving ourselves. So what we'll do is we'll give a little save. I'm going to save over that one. This is a re-recording. I tried to record this yesterday and I forgot to actually apply the settings on my mic so it didn't record my commentary. Hopefully it's working today. 
I did do a sound test before I started. The proving will begin shortly. I'm sure you can find a place in the stands. Or were you here to take part in the fight? Uh, I'd like to hear more about who's fighting. Well, with politics what they are, many combatants are dedicating their fights to either Prince Balin or Lord Harrowmont. Mostly Balin. It's a regular parade of past winners out there. Piotr Naidukin always needs a battle unit. He's the prince's cousin. Miaja and Luke John are twins from the warrior cast. They fight together, put on a good show. They'll all be in their chambers if you want to talk. Okay. Um, I'd like to fight as Harmon's champion. Well, that's a surprise. Never thought the Grey Wardens would take an interest in our king. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? I am Lina, of the Grey Wardens. I'll just call you Grey Warden, since those elven names are such a mouthful. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? Dude, my name is literally four letters long. What are the rules of the proving? Fight, start at the gong, and go to first blood. No eye gouging, no groin pulls. The rules of each bout will be announced when it starts. You should be comfortable with normal weapons and lyrium enhanced weapons in single combat, pairs, or battle units. Are you ready to start? Okay, who am I fighting? Looks like Suwern's drawn first bout. He was one of the youngest champions ever. Beat his own father at 12 years old. Wow. All for the right to earn his battle status two years early. Are you ready to start? Let's do it. That's what I like to hear. I will warn you, though. This is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start, or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. Well, that is just to make sure that you've helped Baisal and Gwyddon. What are you waiting for? I want to fight. Go down to the ring then. I'll be right there. Let's do it. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of twelve by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balin. Opposing him in Lord Haramoth's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Idukan and our future King Balin, for the glory of Lord Haramont. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Okay, so white name, no problem here. Stun, get behind. It shall be done. And just start stabbing. Nice and easy. The winner is the Grey Warden! Easy. That was an exciting start, Warden. Suwern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Who's my next opponent? Next, you're up against Miyaja and Luke John. As twins, they've always been allowed to fight as a single person. They're warrior cast, but their mother was a smith, so watch out for Miyaja's hammer. And don't forget Luke John. Most fighters do, and end up with a knife in their spine. Are you ready to begin? Point me to the ring. All right then, I'll see you out there. The first three battles are quite easy, even with two people. This is a glory proving. 